This is my husband's favorite dinner, which is brisket. So I've got a piece of brisket, which is a joint of beef, and I'm browning it. I'm trying to brown it all over, and then I'm going to stick it on a bed of vegetables, which is carrots and onions, and I put a bit of garlic in here, and some spring onion, hot, anything to give it flavor. I'm browning these in a little bit of olive oil, and I won't really get them very brown, but you know how vegetables taste better if they had a little bit of frying. As you can see, the vegetables are now all nice and soft. They're not really brown, but some of them are beginning to brown, but you want them reduced in volume like that. This is a slow cooker they're going into. So the brisket, which is now brown all over, that's going to go in on top of them. This is the dog end of our wine last night, so it's about a glass full of wine that goes in, red wine. You don't have to have it, beer will do, or just stop. Bit of salt. Bit of pepper. You put the lid on. And don't open it because if you keep opening it, you lose all the heat. And just turn it to very low on the slow cooker. Or if you're doing it in the oven, just put it at about 150 with the lid. To be honest, this was more than five hours. It was very nearly seven hours before it was absolutely tender as anything. This just slides in and slides out again. The meat shrinks enormously in cooking. The thing about brisket is it does have a lot of fat on it. And so the long, slow cooking um, removes all the fat and it shrinks. I'm going to just cut a slice to show you. It does fall apart a bit, but that's because it's really slow cooked, so it's very tender. And then you can either make a gravy, or whiz them all up, or I really like the sort of rather sloppy veg as it is, like that. I always put a bit of spring onions on top of things like this. This is just spring onion tops. Brisket, delicious.